scale of one to 10, how big a threat will Saquon as an Eagle be to the Cowboys? And, and just one, one quick on that, Tampa. Okay. It's so hard to, to try to police that, you know what I mean? Because people are friends, guys are friends, people know people. And I just told you, like, I'm having dinner with, you know, Michael Tomlin or, 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 or Mike McDaniels at, at the Combines. People see each other in those areas. You, you want to talk to people. You know, you talk to him, we, we talk all the time. So even if he saw him like something like that and say, hey, what's up, boy, uh, you're a free agent, you're great talent. Hey, that's not anything. I mean, we just, we, we break things. And I don't know what happened there, but I'm just saying, <laughs> we always talk. But now, him, him as a threat, him as a threat, and, and I'm, I'm a, what number, and what's where I'm at on a scale of worrying about it. Yeah. I, I put it at about, I'll give it all the way to a seven. I'm gonna go six and three quarters, but mm. a seven in this sense. Because mm. let me tell you, let me tell you, where you were weaker, where you were weakest, I should say, is is where he adds on to the Eagles. You saw some of those gaps and run gaps that the Cowboys were giving up, man, in last year. You put Saquon in some of those gaps, that's a touchdown because he's a home run hitter. He he's a home run hitter. That worries me. That worries me. But I flip on the other side and say, hmm, I know the kind of talent he is, and I know Philly wants to get back to running the football because that's all they talked about last year. They got away from being able to run the football. But then they also brought in Kellen Moore, and that's never been something that he's always pushed. As a matter of fact, that's why they pushed to stay with that word, him on out of Dallas. They did. Because he wouldn't run the ball. Yep. And, and Mike McCarthy said, I, I wanted more stability um, and, and, and more, more, more complimentary football right there. So, so it, yeah, I, I see the home run talent. I see it, and I know it's going to do great in Philadelphia, and it's a great pickup for Philadelphia. But it's at about a seven, a worry, because I know Kellen Moore knows he, in order to move his position, Handing that ball off ain't how he's going to move his position. He's going to put that ball up in the air, and we'll get some opportunity. So I, 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 I put it at about a seven. Mm. And you? Key. This is a 10. But it's not just a 10 to the Dallas Cowboys. It's a 10 to the entire league. Mm. OK? It's a 10 to the entire league. This has nothing to do with the Dallas Cowboys. And I looked at you like that, Michael, because this is not about Kellen Moore. This is just not. Yeah, I understand what you're saying based on what you had at the running back position in his last stop in Dallas. You looking at that and saying he liked to throw the ball all over the place. He's an ex-quarterback, that, that sort of things. That may be true. But you know, the Dallas Cowboys did run the ball with him. They just didn't run it at the right times. They decided to throw when they should be running and running it when they should be throwing. That's why he was with the Chargers. That's why Mike McCarthy changed that a little bit, okay, to a degree where the offense was still the same. He just did it differently. When I look at Saquon Barkley, it's the value that you get with Saquon Barkley for the Philadelphia Eagles. Okay, when you start thinking about it, think about the running back position versus the wide receiver position. He's going to touch the football, me and Michael was talking about this, way more than somebody like Gabe Davis that they just gave mm. 13, 14 13, million dollars. Three to? for 39. Three for 39 okay. million. He ain't no difference maker. This dude is a major difference maker. It, this is the first time in his entire career that he's gonna have an offensive line that looks like this, except mm -hmm. his rookie year yep. when he went for over 2,000 yards at scrimmage. When you talk about AJ Brown, Dallas guy, catching the ball out the Devontae field. Smith, Jalen Hurts. Oh, and by the way, let's not rule out Kelsey unretiring mm -hmm. to join this. Just not, let's not just rule that out yet. He says he won't. I know, no, and so did Tom yeah, Brady. But when you face. have a coach and a general manager mm -hmm. and an owner saying, come sit down and eat with us, we want to talk to you, those conversations can change your mind in a heartbeat. After you, you have some time off and you're feeling better, you're right. Come on. These guys we saying, we, ah, we I need you. I got we need you, right. Jason. We need right. you. Right. It's a different conversation. And, and, and that'll move my number to an eight and a when half you, if you, that happens. When you look that'll at move and my I understand up. everybody that plays against the Dallas Cowboys, you measure them, Skip, on mm -hmm. whether they're good or bad. If they had a good game against the Cowboys, they're the greatest thing ever. If they played bad, 
They're the worst thing ever. I know how you do that. Mm. So what I would say to you, and you know this, Michael, when we go in and we game plan and we looking at certain personnel and certain personnel groupings and players, the first thing we say, oh, they ain't got nobody, man. They, we bombed them all day long. They ain't good. They, 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 we can tear that corner up. You know what teams did with Saquon Barkley in, in the New York Giants? They walked in that room, they go, That's if we stop we number 26, we, we gonna win the game, man. We don't, they, mm. we not worried about the receivers. We not worried about Daniel Jones. We not worried about the Ingrams. We not worried about none of these dudes. We only worried about number 26, so let's stop him. We shut him out, shut him down, we win the game. Mm. That is the, but they can't do that now. It's so much easier for him in Philadelphia with them weapons, okay, at his disposal, and with a quarterback that's got to bounce back and knows that he needs to have a bounce back year, mm. and he will, it's going to be crazy for the league in general mm. with this dude in the backfield. Mm. I'm just telling you. Okay, I stand by what I said. Saquon is over hyped. And I use Dallas as my primary example because we can't stop anybody's run. Our bar is low, and we have been run off the football field even this past year at Arizona and at San Francisco and at Buffalo. Go look at the numbers. We have been notoriously and historically porous in interior defense where I would think 26 would gash us and run us off the football field if he's what you guys believe that he is. I believe you're blinded by the lights, as in the highlights, because mm. his highlights rank with anybody's anywhere, anytime. Yeah. But I'm here to tell you and to remind you against the Dallas Cowboys, their arch rival, not ours, we don't look at them as an arch rival, but they, they look at us as like, <laughs> we, we gotta beat that team. Oh they they love to beat this team. Saquon went 0-10 against Dallas. Right. Saquon had two, only two 100-yard games against Dallas, and the first one of those 100-yard games featured a 69-yard run, and the second 100-yard game featured a 58-yard run. Do the math on all his other carries, and they'll average out to about 2.6 yards per, because he is the classic example of the great home run hitter, if I can go baseball on you, who will lead the league in strikeouts and hit 220. But he's gonna lead the league in home runs because he's going to hit one or two a game. But if, if you can just keep it to a low roar, which the Dallas Cowboys were able to do, he did not transcend in those games. He didn't take those games over. I'm sorry, everybody else could take right, games over but, against but, us. Right, except right, but but Key was talking but about that because they're going game plan Wednesday and that's the only yeah. number they so put So let me on ask you this though, Skip, it's real quick. Let me ask, let me ask now you this. they're going to be let more Let me ask you this though, Skip, you smart, man. You've mm -hmm. been around this stuff forever. You know yeah. rosters up and down. Could you name one receiver? Uh, that's what I'm thinking. For the New York Giants, that, yeah. that you would even... But you can name plenty yeah, of them for the oh, Philadelphia Eagles. Right, right. Yeah. Are, so, right. Are we, is he that dude or not? Is he? I, I don't even need to hear any other receivers. Of course. Yeah. I, I thought okay. it was interesting what you said. You said he's overhyped. I, I, I was sitting here contemplating, are you saying overhyped? But does, does that also mean overrated? You know what I mean? You can be overrated. overrated is too overhyped. harsh for him because he's a talent. I got it. But right. we're overhyping right. the impact he can have. Right. It's be why the Giants finally said, no, too no, rich for our blood. The Giants are not in a position, yeah. Skip. Okay, but too and, they had, and they had, as I told you, when free agency tampering period That's first true. opened up, they're That's not true. a good football team. So yeah. to go spend money on Saquon Barkley right now makes zero sense. Well, plus, means... plus, on top of that, he wants to win. You had two years to get a long-term deal done. The Philadelphia Eagles was able to do that in less than 24 hours. Mm -hmm. In less than 24 yeah. hours. All right. And you gave him 24 million guaranteed. 26. 26 million. I'm thinking he's number yes. 26. I'm saying yes. 26. Because he is 26. more valuable than people like Gabe Davis okay. at a different position. So we devalue the running back about, position. We're about to talk about we, Calvin Ridley got 50 million. Wait, 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 wait. Let's back up a little bit. What you want to back up to? <laughs> Let, let, let's back up to, to the Saquon Barkley and, and, and your theory of what will you no think. There's no theory, but go ahead. Okay. What will you think his, his value is now? Because we, when we started talking, we talked about, we talked about is he overhyped or is he overrated? Does he have talent? Yes. In New York, and you know, and that's why, that's why I posed the question overhyped, overrated, because in New York, in the New York media, we, we, we were getting him in New York. He has talent. 
He has great talent. You put him with Philadelphia, they, they, that, that's going to free him up in a lot of ways in what you're talking about. 100%. Because in New York now, in New York, everybody focused on him. Everybody, it was all on him. He's the but, red but, but, guy. But, but you're saying when he said that New York let him go, well, New York had let him go, New York. New York had New York made, didn't have to. They made they they kept Daniel Jones. Yeah, they made a decision and, 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 and let it was him the go. Wrong the, the wrong decision. The wrong decision. That's why I wanted to get to that part. They made the wrong decision because they could have kept him there. And it does make you wonder what Skip is saying. Now, if you have him every day, how are you going? And you, we see Daniel Jones. You see Daniel Jones. How can you make that decision over him? Something's that, that, that he believes. Something's there. I don't believe in things there. I think he's going to do great in Philadelphia because of the other talent. You got to focus on AJ Brown. That's why I said to Skip. Name me one what? receiver you, outside of OBJ that he played with in New York that you can think right. of. That right. was you know, <clears throat> that was anything, anything, anything. at Shepherd all. And, right, and right. Tony was there for a while. And I and, remind and you and both. And and Wallace, I, 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 I remind you both. Just a year ago, <clears throat> they made the playoffs. They went to Minnesota <clears throat> and they beat Kirk Cousins. And so Daniel Jones Cooper beat Rush. Kirk Cousins. Okay, and but so I'm just did, saying. And so did Dak Prescott. Okay, right, and so did all the okay. other quarterbacks. Right, well, that's, right. that's, that's not a great problem. measuring stick. Well, it skip. is. To make the playoff, they're not a bad football team. You can't make the playoffs and be a bad football team. I don't care what you say. They you backed into the, the playoffs on a badass yeah. division. Okay. Are you, come and on, speaking skip. of bad what football teams, you overlook the fact. Not, that's not the Cowboys, the man. No, they're I'm they're talking about the Giants. Y'all back this in number two. I know, but a bad division. It's a bad okay. division. Okay, wait a second. The Philadelphia Eagles, right. I just right. watched them lose six of their last seven games and look terrible. Look like yes. they, they had no, they lost they their way, man. They, they and I've never seen that. They were good at the wow. end of the season okay, for with all reason. those weapons. With well, all those weapons. First of all, they had two different defensive coordinators throughout the season. Okay, they had a time. brand new offensive coordinator that really didn't seem like he understood yep. the plan. Okay, and you had a quarterback that was nicked up that was last year. This year, they've gotten better. Mm. They just went out and brought C.J., what is it, C.J. Gardner-Johnson yeah. back okay, that understands their system. Okay, you know what? To me, okay. he scares me more than Saquon does. All right. He is a catalyst. Well, don't, yeah. don't, he don't, is a Super is Bowl okay. catalyst. Don't, don't be scared. And that's where yeah. they were, that's where they were yeah. vulnerable, most vulnerable yeah. last yeah. year, yeah. Yeah. on the back and end. Howie and that's, is, now, that's a is, great pickup. It Roseman was. That was a great pickup. Howie Roseman is doing... Something that the Dallas Cowboys hey, never do. Okay, since I, I, I agree. Because okay, look at CJ Gardner John. Everywhere okay, he goes. Tap. Tap. No, I'm not. Hey. I'm not Ted. Now you want Ted. Everywhere CJ Gardner goes, is something happens good. In New Orleans. What, what did they what did yeah. they what, what did Philadelphia you just said they back in? They went and addressed it. Yes, they would. With a guy that knows what they what right. the culture right. in Philadelphia and, is. And, and, and a guy that causes turnovers, and that's yes. what they need yes. also on that back end. Yeah. And yes. that's why I thought that was a, a, a guy a great that they said up. no to, but. Skip. You know how they say no to people all the time? Like you say, oh, they said no, they didn't want him a couple years ago. He had to go to Detroit and take a one year deal. He did. That's what they said. We're sorry. Come on back. We're going to give you a three year no, deal. Un and unfortunately, he's, he's now yeah. sorry because he blasted Philadelphia fans I as he left town. I well, that's okay. That's okay. I'm back. Y'all love yeah, I'm here yeah, with y'all. Yeah, okay. The first, they the first turnover, they'll, they'll, yeah, they'll be, be, they'll be yeah. okay. But that, you're wrong, like... Skip, to think Saquon Barkley is just a talent and all hype. You're wrong, man. I'm I telling you, you're the wrong. Numbers. It, against Dallas, he averages 2.6. It's just... Don't I, give it, a damn about them in the Dallas we, Cowboys. We can't stop anybody, but we stopped him routinely stop, and consistently. And that's fine. But their offensive and it was line because was, it was a simple focus. And it's a simple focus. It's There's simple no receiver focus. skip right. opposite of him. We'll, You're not afraid of his quarterback it, play. It, it's like, come be on. Now. It'll be different. It will be different. Saquon, Saquon will have better games, and the Cowboys are going to be worried about him in this spot. 100%. With, with those boys on the end, there's no getting I'm around I'm taking that. Philly to win there's the division. No okay, around. I'll I'll say as much many problems as we have, I'll still take Dallas to win the okay. division. Okay, and they're still yeah. the favorite. They, still, yeah. they, was, they, they, they came out still the favorite, and it's going to be interesting. Now, we, we can talk about it, and, and I said it. I, I said, like I said, I said, here, here's the kicker. You mentioned it. And maybe just messing around because Jason Kelsey was mess I mean, well, he's messing not, around. I'm not, but if I'm he did mentioned. come back, now that number goes from seven to eight and a half mm -hmm. because I'm going to tell you something. You, you, 
Philadelphia fans, get ready now. You're going to really realize how much you love this man. Because mm. when we lost Travis Frederick, uh, <laughs> you, 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 it's hard to find those kind of mm. centers that set the stage. Mm. I mean, Travis Kelsey didn't just, Jason Kelsey didn't just block. He called the plays, he called the line. Yeah. It's everything like Travis Frederick, and, and it gets different when you lose that center. If he times, comes back, many, it'll be how, different. How many times in our careers, both as players and analysts, we've watched guys prematurely retire and teams say, man, don't do that. Just come on back. Let's, yeah. come, let's have a steak dinner and let's talk about this. Uh, we see right. it every, all the time. With guys the like the year, this. You, yeah, you're beat up. Guys you, like you, this. Right, right. You're beat you, up, you, you're tired. You, you're not ready to retire yet. You don't want to do that. They going to Watch what I tell you. Watch what you, you watch what I tell you. By the way, we just lost our center, too. Yeah. You realize that. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. pretty good. But it no. wasn't Travis. No. <laughs> it wasn't no. Travis. And, no. And you mean just, uh, right. uh, Jason. Yeah. Or, yeah. or we just he's lost. talking about Kelsey. He's oh, talking about I'm Travis I'm Frederick. I'm Frederick. Oh, yeah. Travis yeah. Frederick. Yeah. Frederick. Yeah. yeah. I'm talking about Travis Frederick. That different dude. Woo! Different dude. Cowboy is going to be in trouble. Oh, I Not can't wait. Man. Ooh, I'm going to watch you with them sports boys when we hanging out. Eagles. <laughs> you call it trouble. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.